Hi everyone, in this video, we'll do a deep dive into what time of flight technology is, how it works and the various components of a time of flight camera. Let us first look at how time of flight technology works. As you might be already knowing, time of flight sensors work based on the light illumination technique wherein the sensors emits light to the target object and collects the reflection from it. The distance or depth to the target object is then calculated using the time it takes for the light to return to the sensor. The calculation is done using a simple formula where distance equals time multiplied by speed. In this case, the distance is obtained by multiplying the time of flight by the speed of flight. This value is then divided by 2 to account for the back and forth travel to obtain the final depth value. Now that we understand how the technology works, let us look at the key components of the time of flight camera. The very core of the time of flight camera are the sensor and the sensor module. The key function of the sensor is to collect the light reflected from the target object. In addition to the sensor, the sensor module also houses the optics that typically come with a large aperture for the collection of maximum amount of light. The next component of the time of flight camera is the light source. As the term suggests, it emits light to the target objects. The most common types of light sources used are VC cells or LEDs. And typically, light in the near infrared spectrum with a wavelength of either 850 nanometer or 940 nanometer is used. The VC cell system uses a diffuser to ensure uniform surface illumination by diverging the light in front of the image sensor. The third component of the time of flight camera is the depth processor. The depth processor can be called as the brain of the time of flight camera where its key function is to convert the raw pixel data obtained from the time of flight sensor into depth information. It also helps in noise filtering to improve the output depth quality. In addition, it provides passive 2 d infrared images that can be used for other end applications. To help you understand the concept better, here is what the output from a time of flight camera will look like. This is a depth map where red color represents the nearby objects and blue color represents farther objects in the scene. Feel free to take a moment and have a close look at the image. So that covers the basic of time of flight camera. Hope you were able to understand how the time of flight technology works. If you have any queries on the topic, please leave a comment and write to us at camerasolutions at econsystems.com. By clicking the link in the description, you will know a lot more on the Econsystems TOF cameras. And please subscribe to our channel.